Hello, Lilith. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Guys, if you're new to this channel and you're ready to be a Lola, go ahead and click that bell to be a part of the notification squad. But in order to click the bell, you have to click the subscribe button. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Now, let's just get right into the video. I don't want to go through the whole spill. This is Marley, and Marley was sculpted by Don McLeod. McLeod, Mc McLeod, McLeod, Lloyd, 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 something. Oh my gosh. Ooh, that scared me. I got baby feet under the table. and sorry, I was looking over. Anyway, so it's very hard to get her to photograph properly without her looking a little bit, her color sometimes look a little bit off from what it is. There it is. She's not as yellowy as she come across sometimes. Um, there we go. I think that's better. So anyway, I'm going to get her change. And I want to tell you guys something. Oh my gosh. So guess what, guys? Um, I'm in the process of getting the house together. You know, people clean like three times during the year. <laughs> And what I mean, I'd be like, you know, like deep clean. Most people clean, some people clean more than that, but I'm just saying, you definitely got to have people clean in like spring, fall, and the holidays, like Christmas, for those that celebrate. Because um, usually that's the most time when family is over and all that and stuff. So I am getting ready for the fall. I'm excited about it. I'm going to probably drag out the Christmas tree once I get everything done, but biggest project for my babies and my daughter said to me she said mom your house is turning into one big dollhouse and she's absolutely right um it just seems to be that way these days because I've taken um Gabby's second bedroom which she doesn't use anymore she used to go in there and sleep a little bit um you know some days she'll be like I'm asleep in my other room or whatever and she go over there and sleep now she doesn't um now she doesn't she doesn't even do that so i'm trying to get this thing loose without popping it the buttons it's very fragile there we go all right so yeah so that room really doesn't get used sometimes i use it for when i'm packing up a baby or something like that so um i decided that it would be a good idea to use that room for my bigger babies since it's a you know full bedroom set in there and everything i can't really turn it into just a full nursery but i can always like if gabby decides she wants to sleep in that room i could always sit the babies like on a little play mat on the floor or in little chairs or whatever and take them off the bed um, but some of the babies are going to be on the bed. Some of the babies are not going to be on the bed. And so I use this tummy plate. Um, I took it from one of my, uh, Mick, uh, sculpts that I was to paint. And so it doesn't fit totally on her, but it does enough to what it needs to do. So um like if she has on a shirt or whatever you it'll cover i'll show you but um so yeah so i've decided to do that for now um i am gonna of course try to limit how many babies i actually keep and eventually some of the babies will go um like i'm i'm almost certain milani well she may go even though I don't really want her to go, part of me don't want her to go, but out of all my other babies, I think I would be ready to let Milani go before I let the other ones go, but I'm, I'm just not 100% sure on that right now. But um, if not, I just won't keep, you know, certain babies. Like I've decided, since I already have two Aspens, I'm going to, uh, uh, like, the two uh, two Aspens that I have, I'm going to keep those 
which is the prototypes and then I'm going to actually sell um, the ones the next ones that I paint so I am going to have them available once they're painted um, I'll probably do us uh, probably have them both rooted the first of the year and I may paint some ball aspens I don't know um, just depends on how much of demand it is for them and so yeah let me see what you guys can see so so yeah so now you guys can see what I was talking about with the tummy plate she's another one of those babies like my um Lily Grace that I don't mind being bald let me put Lily Grace in here I don't know how they gonna look they may clash so guys just I don't know Oof, she make Lily Grace look so red. You see that? They are actually using the same tummy plate. So this is the same exact tummy plate. Um, but painted very differently. Yeah, she's painted with a more a red base for a newborn oh my gosh that's so sweet i love this baby um but yeah she oh she made her look so red <laughs> that was funny but now what was i saying uh, oh but yeah so i'm just trying to you know figure it all out like you know what exactly that i'm going to do what babies i'm going to keep I know that I can't keep all the babies. I know that um, as bad as I want to, I know it's just it's just not feasible. Um, I will be back to working on Grumpy soon, so I'll have silicone babies available. Now the silicone baby, I hopefully I hopefully will have her ready for somebody will have a Christmas baby because I will have her painted and rooted by Christmas possibly I don't ship after a certain time during the holiday so hopefully I have her finish before Christmas like um by December 1st I'm hoping because I don't like to ship as it get you know like two weeks before Christmas and all that stuff because shipping get crazy around that time so I'm gonna just try to have her ready to go um i thought about keeping her too but i'm not i'm not gonna keep her i'm holding out holding out holding out um so yeah so babies will be available at some point i know it seems like i always keep all my babies but remember i started painting so that i could paint my own self dolls i didn't paint to uh start painting to sell i was i started out like most people say oh, i'm not gonna sell my babies i'm not gonna sell my babies and then we end up selling them i started out that same way and that was definitely my um my goal was to hang on there we go my goal was to just be able to paint for myself like not sell she needs a hat or something. I'm always doing something silly. Now that didn't really go, but <laughs> say, but it fit. <laughs> She's so cute. I love her. Um, I actually really do love um, Dawn sculpts. She is she is one of the. Um, the sculptors that people don't really talk about as much but I do like her work um this baby kind of reminds me of early bird by Tina Cooey speaking of Tina Cooey <laughs> no but yeah but um I don't know I guess too like the August was it had the sucky lip like the Levi's like she does faces that's familiar but what a twist I guess and so 
I guess I'm kind of drawn to them uh, for that reason, maybe. I don't know. But in any case, I absolutely, when I saw this baby, um, actually, um, Lena Smith, the prototype artist, when I saw her, 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 um, her version of this sculpt, I was like, oh my gosh, I love her. She was like so cute. So I was just like, yeah, I got to get that one. And so I definitely ran out and got the kit when I could. I don't think I pre-ordered this one. I think I just bought it when it was, once it was available. Um, but then that's, you know. That's how I'm starting to do now, to be honest. I'm getting to a point where I'm not going to be pre-ordering every freaking kit because what's the point, really, if they're just going to be unlimited? So they'll, they're going to be like open editions. They're going to be available at all times. So what's the point of, you know, like having myself tied and locked in when I don't have to be? That's just my thought process, guys. You guys don't have to adapt to my thoughts. Can y'all, and just can y'all please let me have them? <laughs> let me have my own thoughts. But yeah, that's just, that's the way I feel right now with everybody. And a Muma is now like open edition, open edition, open edition, open edition. So everything is open, wide open. I don't see the point of pre-orders at this point. You know, back in the day, you rushed for a pre-order because you didn't want to miss the opportunity to get one. But now, since it's an endless flow, it's like, who cares? I'll get it once it's in stock and I can just order it and it'll come to me then. Or when I'm ready to paint it. Or if I feel that I still want to paint it after I've seen a thousand versions of it. You know, um, sometimes it's a whole year later and I want to paint it. Like, it's like... Yeah, I just, that's where I'm at with it. So, anyway, guys, I am going to go. I wanted to show her. I was trying to keep her out of pink, but it seemed like she just keep going back to the pinks and the mauves and all that. So, I was trying to put her on some different colors. I definitely think she'll look really good in, um, like, soft blues and stuff like that. But I have not, of course, really shot for her. I had some things here um, for her from when I first bought the kit. Um, and I am also, guys, another thing I am doing, I have a goal not to buy any more babies, um, any more babies and any more kits until for the remainder of the year. So that is gonna be really, really hard. Um, I'm trying to think if I need to hold a slot for one <laughs> because before I say that because y'all gonna be like you said yeah I don't I right at this point I don't want to I don't want to lay away nothing I don't want to yeah I I do I do reserve a spot for that particular one silicone sculpt if it comes out um and it and it looks as good in silicone as it did in the clay um that one Depending on the price, I may have to get it. But if I do, rest assured, I will sell something in here. But other than that, I do not plan to buy any more. I plan to paint up all these kits that I have in here. Guys, I have probably about 30, 40 kits left in here to paint, reborn kits. I still have some silicone kits in here. I am going to paint, okay? Um... I'm going to just keep painting and then as I can get them rooted or if not, I'll just start selling them ball. I don't know. I know sometimes it's easier for collectors that don't paint to get artists to root for them. It's harder for me as an artist to get someone to root for me. I don't know what the logic is behind it, but it is. So, um... I did find a place that does painted hair and painted combo hair. I may try that out on one of my babies and see how that works. And then if that works out good, then that's another option I might have to get some of these babies going, especially the smaller babies. The bigger babies have to have rooted hair. And the only reason I have not made a final decision on Milani 
is because she doesn't have hair. Once she gets hair, I can make a, an informed decision. Right now, I love her to pieces. Once she gets hair, I just need to make sure it's not going to send me over the top. I don't want to make no promises. Um, but I'm definitely thinking um, I will keep Zora and Milani. Sorry, sis. I know one of my sis like, really wants Zora. But I may paint another one. But then I know it's not going to be the exact same. So there's that. But maybe it will be better. Um, I don't know. I may use the same limbs. I may not. But I really, really love that sculpt that face and I would love to paint it again so I'm I'm thinking about that but in the meantime um like I said I got some duplicates here I have a uh, Memphis sculpt Alexis by Cassie Brace I have Chase by Bonnie Brown I have Gabby Gills I have um some more Don uh McLeod kits here I have Aspens um I probably will buy another Abby. Oh, not this year. <laughs> um, what else do I have here? I have a lot of kits, guys. I have some Tammy Yari kits. I have kits from like 1922, picture it, Sicily. Back when, you know, fish didn't fry in the kitchen and the beans didn't go on the grill. It's don't fry in the kitchen. Grits don't go on the grill. Got a whole lot of something and something on that hill. Oh, we got kids moving on up to this crowd. We finally got a piece of the pie. Okay, anyway. I know some of y'all mad with me about that. But don't worry about it. I don't know the words, so... I know that that's the way it goes, something like that. Like the fish don't fry in the kitchen. It definitely fries in the kitchen. But anyway, all right, I'm finna go. I think that's it. I think I told y'all all my business. Soon as I get everything organized, I'm gonna give y'all a little tour. A tour of the next, the second extended nursery. <laughs> Slash Gabby's in second bedroom. Why does she need two bedrooms anyway? Okay. Um. So... Because now when she don't want to sleep in her room, she just come get in my bed or on the little thing at the bottom of my bed. Like, she she will come in my room before she go to a second bedroom anyway. So, what's the pur purpose of that? So, anyway. So, I will show you guys a tour, a full tour. I am going to, I got to get something to where I can walk around where I don't have to try to have lights everywhere and it can still show in here. So, I'm working on that, guys. Um... I need a vlogging camera so that I can walk around freely and you guys can still see my babies in good quality. So anyway, that's uh, that's what I'm working on. Um, it probably won't be this month. It'll probably be like October. I'll get all the babies dressed and get them all in their positions and get everything all spruced up. Oh, I can't wait. Um, but yeah, I gotta go. All right, guys. See you guys later. Say bye-bye. Marley, Marley, poop, poop. She just look like she look like she got such baby breath, and oh, she just look like she smell like formula. I don't know. I don't know about y'all, but she is the cutest little thing to me. See you guys later. Bye. Where's your pacifier? That's what I was looking for. Mm.